Hi everyone, welcome back to Mandy T and Me, and welcome back to Ark Gotta Tame Them All. Okay, well, Mama T and I are out and about, and we are checking out this Cha Cha that I mentioned in the last episode. Um, so this thing is, in fact, on my closest mountain where I would like to tame a Procoptodon. Um, so yeah, he's kind of an ugly thing. Um, he also has about 70,000 HP, so, uh, at the, after the recording of this episode, I went back to see if I could kill it, and, um, I succeeded in, um, not doing that, uh, so, um, it's gonna be a slog, and I just was not up for it. So, Mama T and I, um, had spent another really boring evening trying to tame a Trudon, um, and it went about as well as Trudon taming has gone to this point. So I might need to go back to the drawing board on that one and see if I can find a better technique for um, enticing those guys to eat um, my tames because uh, baby Rexes aren't doing it, baby sheep um, are generally just getting killed, but they're... Um, but uh, they only account for a small amount of XP. Even with a level 14 Trudon, I was only getting about 1.3% taming effectiveness. So, uh, so Mama T and I went out to look for a woolly rhino and uh, got a little distracted by um, by this fella. Um because I figure it was close enough to the taming pen and um, we could work with that. Uh, but of course there's these giant rocks here and it was definitely like, what are we doing? Um, so Mama T and I took turns trying to get rid of the Carno friends. Um, and that wasn't too bad. There were also some wolfies here, um, but again, not too bad. I was mostly worried about, you know, getting knocked off by a Prolovia, because this is actually where we tamed um, our Prolovia. But uh, no Prolovias here. I did encounter one later, um, but it was like, uh, the recording of it, you could only see it like trying to leap at my bird from like off screen, so. Uh, also, uh, Mama T and I took turns, uh, just with this, with this mess. At this point, I started feeling really confident. We had gotten the UD so close to the trap, but we never really got it close enough again. Honestly, I don't know if we would have gotten it in if it would have stayed in. I believe that this trap is only two walls high. It might be three walls high, um, but yeah, maybe. I think it might be three walls high. Um, but I know, like, I'm pretty sure Spinos need four or high, and I didn't really know. And honestly, while taming the Trudons, the baby uh, Therizinos kept walking out of a three high trap. So I wasn't really confident about this trap situation. It was just kind of the slow him down. So, um, not. I don't know if this is the best laid plan. It was kind of like we came for a woolly rhino. I saw a UD, and um, yeah, this is this is such a weird precarious area because these uh, glaciers are both really really helpful and also can really 
not be helpful here. Uh, so there's enough of a lip that he kept walking under this glacier and I was just like, dude. But I wasn't confident in my armor and my own uh, health rating to hop down with the UD, especially since he was so <clears throat> very determined to get at me from this location. And I'm kind of a cowardly gamer anyway. Um, so this, this was a bad combination. Um, but I was still pretty determined to get him and then I realized I couldn't get the vulture because I, these like, glaciers are kind of, they're almost like egg shaped if that makes sense. Um, so I kept getting stuck on them. Ultimately we ended up giving up and just killing the UD because it was just not worth it. Uh, I went into the woods and I found a Deodon because I lost the footage from the original Deodon tame. And besides, you can never have too many. Um, so I felt was feeling pretty good about this. And then um, I, I guess I forgot the Vulture was set to neutral or attack my target. And uh, oh yeah, that happened. So thanks, thanks Vulture. So I went out and got another day at dawn, um, and uh, they were quite bitey uh, the entire way back. There was a kind of like a herd of them, uh, but I was able to grab another day at dawn, and this time before I took off, I definitely set a vulture to passive, um, and I'm hoping I grabbed the right, right gender. I did not check when I got back to base. Uh, but it would be nice to um, have some Deodon babies, uh, depending on how we go about taming some other things. So I definitely missed the first time putting the Deodon in, which is crazy because they're not huge. Um, but I was very happy to just clear out these wolves real quick once I actually got the Deodon into the pen. I think they're actually really cool creatures. I like their healing effect. They're actually pretty tangy. Um, and actually, despite the fact that they're, I don't know, what, a giant warthog, um, they, uh, they make for a good, uh, mount, um, big fan. I used them quite a bit on Fjorder, and it also kind of felt appropriate to ride around on a giant boar thing, uh, for that as well. So, alright, this guy goes down, there we go. So we finally have a day on. And uh, I wasn't quick enough, but uh, we were able to we were able to tame a female UD. Why I wasn't able to get to the uh, record button fast enough, I don't know. But we got her, we tamed her right here. We actually tamed her like practically in the water. Um, uh, so I'm a little disappointed that you guys didn't get to see that harrowing adventure. But. And then we finally found some woolly rhinos. Um, lots of snow made this bit of footage a little unwatchable, but um, yeah, we finally got a pair of woolly rhinos. They're not great levels, they're both a level 20, but they did come in a pair, male and female. Um, and yeah, they're uh, almost tamed by now. Mama T watching out for, for wolfies because that was a problem. And uh, as was the Columbia that uh, I did encounter, so. Um, fun times for all. So I feel confident about the fact that we at least set out with a goal uh, on this day and it was like, oh yeah, we definitely uh, set out and said we're getting a woolly rhino. We came back with two. We also came back with that Deodon and uh, the female Utyrannus, which felt really good after some, some real struggles uh, in the last taming episodes. So uh, we also found these two uh, explorer notes right here. So. Um, Mama T got to level up and the birds got to level up. It was just good all around. Normally I would have dyed our armor, but I, I've been really lazy on the painting and dying in this series. Um, yeah, I probably should fix that. So, God, I love the boxes that the Explorer notes come in. It's just like a little detail, but it's a really nice detail. Definitely a dangerous location, but I couldn't help but notice that this would be a great place to have a little, like, snow base. But these two creatures, uh, <clears throat> with the exception of the Calicotherum, are basically our last, like, snow biome teams, which feels pretty good. And the Calicotherum isn't, um, quite as, uh, native to, uh, 
the the snow areas um, as the uh, Utyrannus and the woolly woolly rhino. So gotta get rid of these hoodlums. I don't know why I get so angry at like roaming Argentavises, but they kind of live up to their reputation as being like the ancestor of modern vultures because ugh, they really do get in the way. So, but uh, we did pretty good protecting our woolly rhinos, so that felt really nice. Um, and then we tamed one. Let's get those snacks back and two fantastic so I've never had a woolly rhino before or at least I did but it was like for a very short amount of time so it felt really good actually like getting them so let's go ahead and we will mark the woolly rhino um, and the Utah ran this off our list feels good though it really feels good So yeah, well thanks for coming along with us guys. This was quite the adventure. Um, and uh, hopefully eventually we'll uh, be going out. I wanna say let's go out for an Archaeopteryx next time. That'll be a nice trip to the woods and uh, I will work on making more beer. So thanks for hanging out with me and Mama T. And uh, yeah, until next time guys, please take care of yourselves and each other and happy sipping.